एवरीवन वेलकम टू अपनी कक्षा दिस इज आशुता एंड आई एम बैक विद इन अदर वीडियो आज के हमारी वीडियो का डिस्कशन बहुत डिफरेंट होने वाला है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग एनीथिंग मैं कुछ पढ़ाने नहीं आई हूँ आज बट आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मुझे लगता है ये बिल्कुल परफेक्ट टाइम है बिकॉज कोरोना की वजह से हम सब घर पे हैं एंड वी हैव अ लिटिल एक्स्ट्रा टाइम इन हैंड टू कॉन्टम्पलेट वॉट टू डू नेक्स्ट इन लाइफ हम इन बारों में सोच रहे हैं कि विच कॉलेज शुड वी गेट इन हम किस कोर्सेज में एनरोल करें विच करियर्स शुड वी फाइनली परस्यू सो दैट वी कैन एंड अप इन दैट प्लेस इन लाइफ वे वी कैन सी आर गोल्स बींग फुलफिल्ड बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड आई वुड लाइक टू टेक अप अ क्विक एक्टिविटी विद योर गाइज मैं चाहती हूँ उसके लिए आप अपनी आंखें बंद करो नाउ दैट यू क्लोज यूर आइज ट्राई पिक्चरिंग एन इंजीनियर अपने दिमाग में एक इंजीनियर की इमेज फॉर्म करो सो नाउ ओपन यूर आइज एंड लेट मी टेक अ गैस मोर देन सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव कम अप विद एन इमेज ऑफ अ गाय प्रॉबली वो डेस्क पे बैठ के काम कर रहा है ऑन ए कंप्यूटर और समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट वेल मैंने कोई तुक्का नहीं मारा दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू अ रीसेंट सर्वे कंडक्टेड बाय अ वेल रेप्यूटेड फॉर्म टू फाइंड आउट कि हमारी कंट्री में इतनी कम फीमेल इंजीनियर्स क्यों हैं और व्हाई डू वी सी सच मिनिमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फीमेल्स इन स्टेप अकॉर्डिंग टू द सेम सर्वे चार परसेंट से भी कम लोग एक फीमेल इंजीनियर को पिक्चर कर पाए थे वाई इज इट सो हार्ड फॉर अस एज अ सोसाइटी टू पिक्चर फीमेल्स एज इंजीनियर्स और टेकिंग अप रोल्स इन दीज टेक फील्ड इस सर्वे की हेल्प से हमें इतना पता चल गया दैट हमें बहुत दिक्कत होती है इस बात को एक्सेप्ट करने में कि हमारे आस पास कोई लड़की है हु हैपन्स टू बी परस्यूइंग अ करियर इन एनी ऑफ दीज स्टेम फील्ड्स आगे पढ़ने से पहले आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट स्टेम स्टैंड फॉर साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैथमेटिक्स जब हम बात करते हैं कि लड़कियों को क्या प्रोफेशन लेने चाहिए सो वी सी की कुछ कोर ब्रांचेस होती हैं इंजीनियरिंग में जहाँ सी एस सॉफ्टवेयर आई टी वेर इट इज़ ईजी और क्योंकि कंपनीज जो होती हैं कॉरपोरेट्स को अपनी जेंडर रेशो मेंटेन करनी होती है तो वहाँ लड़कियों को एज मिल जाता है अगर लड़कियाँ कोडिंग वगैरह कर लेती हैं तो वहाँ उनको एक डेफिनेटली कैरेट बेनिफिट मिलता है अबाउट हाउ टू गो अहेड एंड यू नो टेक अप जॉब्स एट डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स बट वेन इट कम्स टू स्ट्रीम्स लाइक माइंड जो थोड़ी रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड हैं जहाँ पे जॉब्स आर नॉट अबाउट सेटिंग एट अ डेस्क एंड वर्किंग आउट योर इंटायर स्केड्यूल तो आई फील दैट आपका जो जेंडर होता है वो बहुत कम रोल प्ले करता है इन डिसाइडिंग वेदर यू विल गेट द जॉब और नॉट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट हाउ द थिंग्स वर्क इन साइड एन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड वॉट ऑल गोज इन द माइंड ऑफ द पीपल हु आर गोइंग टू हायर यू द प्रोफेसर हु आर टीचिंग यू the students who are learning with you now to share their stories with you we have these four amazingly talented women from dtu to tell you how was life for them at an engineering college and what all dtu had to offer for you know ma'am do you want to tell us which stream are you from uh, hi i am from uh, it information technology branch so uh, did you take it out of choice ya fir ek bahut mainstream field hai which is a safer option uh okay so i knew i wanted to go into the computer science technology field in fact i was interested in cyber security so this was the sort of field which suited me engineering colleges mein hota hai that we know ki ladke ek bahut zyada amazing majority mein present hote hain and you know sometimes girls who been like constantly studying throughout their 11th 12th to get a decent college they feel that you know they've maybe sort of missed out on the fun and some we were told ki engineering college mein jaake itni attention milti hai that it kind of makes up for all of it uh i don't think you'd like all of the attention that you get you do get attention and uh, i think there is a majority of guys definitely but then there is the quality versus quantity ratio right every guy you friends with would sort of uh, assume that you are going into a particular direction and then you're called out for leading people on and that sort of spoils the image of girls in engineering college in general i think all of us have heard that kya kaati hai and that sort of thing which is a very toxic culture i feel so finally coming to your placement season okay how hectic was it what were your dream companies Okay, so placement. I think at an engineering college is the most stressful thing. You have to sit for companies every day. You have to give these coding tests. Very few companies come in for diversity hiring. There are some profiles which are specifically for women, but most companies don't do that. Somehow this notion has come up in a lot of guys in colleges. that girls get their internships or their placement just because of the gender because the company wants to hire women 
so that really i think uh, harms girls because which is something i think all guys should try to avoid uh, sort of passing these sort of comments so what exactly. company do you find and in the place that so i am placed at city bank uh, as a technology analyst in pune uh, thank you ma'am for your time we'll shift to shruti ma'am now hi ashita um i am from ece which is electronics and communication engineering so ma'am tell us about your first year kaisa tha i did not have any particular expectations while coming into this engineering college uh, i did not really know anybody so um the first year in itself was very enriching because one thing which we always hear about dtu is the senior junior culture that exists over here the best part about dtu because you get to meet so many good seniors you really broaden your horizons about a lot of things not just about career they let you know that there are more about there most more to life beyond you know also like when we are uh, like looking to enter the corporate sector again we see that bahut kam ladkiya hain and you know they are kind of afraid to enter the world because like about all the kinds of things that we get to hear So mm-hmm. do you feel that it's that peop uh, women have to give up their job midway and you know like totally give up on their careers because of marriage and family I read this book by Sheryl Sandberg and she really talks about this where we as girls I mean we are 22 and you and i are talking about if we ever will have kids in the next 10 years will i have to leave my job do you think i mean it's 10 years down the line why am i thinking about it right now do you boys are really thinking about it like how will i manage my kids and my family when i'm 35 and i have a job they're not thinking about it so why do we have to think about it right the thing is that uh, most most women preempt this that yeah i'll be 32 i'll have a kid so i might have to step back from my job so i will not apply for this promotion or i'll not apply for this um, this job that takes me you know to a different city because you know i my plan my family has to Uh, might not have to suffer. All right. But do you think the freshers shouldn't be so hesitant, and they should, you know, approach more people? Yeah, definitely, definitely. If you're a fresher, don't hesitate, because exactly that's exactly what we're do, trying to do with Climb, with this initiative that the four of us started. Uh, this is we do. We're trying to, you know, get women, all girls in the college together at one platform where they can, you know, know about each other and know people, get connect with people who have similar interests. So that is where your role model thing comes into play like that is how i got to know about my need ma'am through climb right as a junior please never be hesitant uh, your and if not if one senior maybe is not replying to you there are another 10 to 3 seniors like 10 seniors who will be happy to help um do you want to tell us what company did you finally get placed at uh, like i said i was sitting for all these um, non technical roles so uh, i got into pwc as a technology consultant and then in the next semester i also cracked an offer from bcg which is boston consulting group as a knowledge analyst okay so coming to sanjana ma'am hi ma'am please tell us about your stream and was it your first choice or not yeah so i am in electrical engineering and it was my first choice it is literally my first choice in the form and i got it in my first counseling itself it was a by choice decision so uh, has it ever happened with you just hum baat karte hain ki acha hamari beti engineering kar rahi hai so the parents have tried to push you towards ki beta thodi mainstream engineering ke liye jao because engineering apparently is like seen as something that just guys can pursue so electrical engineering was it hard to convince your parents it was just not like they literally left it on me rather they were like that you should do what you like doing for me it was a personal choice they never imposed anything on me they were like that you can take mechanical if you want you can take civil if you want it should any day boil down to your interest so since my father is also an engineer so i uh, he kind of understood me in that sense that you know it's uh, ultimately it's about your interest so he understood me there and he was very clear hi apurva ma'am can you tell us which stream you're from uh, hi ashita so i'm from mathematics and computing um it's a very diverse branch it's a very new branch can you like throw some light on what exactly do you study in this it's an equal mixture of math and computer science uh and in maths you don't only study application subjects you study pure math subject you study abstract math you study uh, application based math and as to computer related subjects you study all the ones which are necessary for you to fit for a technical job for example your object oriented programming your operate uh, uh, operating system plus from your third year onwards you get 
electives wherein i mostly took computer science electives because of this reason that um they provided electives like big data and optimization so that was my inclination uh, an equal mixture so it's up to you third year onwards what how do you want to make your branch life so there's this myth that uh, does the rounds that you know engineering colleges they're not fun uh definitely not so i was always very studious kid in school and i don't know um, i had this uh, image in my mind that i'm going to have all the fun in college so that's what i did my first year was completely fun i did not think about my study i'm not saying that it's a very good thing to do because obviously my grades did suffer a bit but uh, i don't think it suffered enough to um, kind of push me back would you like to say something to you know perhaps the girl watching you would thinking whether she should opt for engineering or not so engineering is going to give you the experience to learn everything you're going to you're going to get a good exposure of the kind of environment you're going to face you're going to meet good people bad people and you're going to learn how to deal with them definitely definitely go for engineering it's going to make you a much better person because i would like you all to answer the last question again so what do you have to say to somebody watching you and trying to decide to opt for this stream or not okay so i would like to say to everyone that go for engineering it's an amazing amazing experience which it actually makes you realize everything about yourself your confidence your capabilities whatever you do just put your full will and your heart into it and you're definitely going to crack it there's nothing that you cannot do so uh, a senior once told me that you know engineering is the most polished degree for you to have so you know no matter what your career goal is what you want to be uh, 10 years from now 5 years from now uh, doing a four year engineering degree as opposed to a regular three year degree gives you so much more gives you so much more exposure and so many more opportunities when you are that young when you are in your class 10th or your class 12th you are not supposed to know how your next 10 years should be right you are allowed to be confused trust me i mean uh, for whatever reasons any of us got into engineering these have been the best four years of our life i don't know if you get that anywhere else because it is so immersive the entire experience because you are living on campus you are attending classes all the time and uh, uh, it's not something that gets uh, that starts at 10 and ends at 5 it goes 24/7 okay so i guess this is where we wrap up thank you so much everybody thank, thank you so now that was one hell of a conversation that we had with all these amazing ladies who shared their experiences about how life is for a girl at an engineering college तो अब हमको इतने इंसाइट्स मिल चुके हैं अबाउट हाउ दी कॉलेज लाइफ इज एक्चुअली हम इंटर्नशिप्स के लिए कब प्रिपेयर करना शुरू करें हाउ आर द प्लेसमेंट ऑफर्स इन नॉन टेक एंड टेक एंड आई एम श्योर आपकी बहुत सारी डाउट्स क्लियर हुए होंगे आफ्टर दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैपन टू बी अ गर्ल ट्राइंग टू मेक दिस डिसीजन दैट डू यू वॉन्ट गो फॉर इंजीनियरिंग डू यू वॉन्ट नॉट let me tell you girl please go for it because it is an amazing career option and i also feel that there should be nothing holding you back absolutely nothing so what's stopping you so if you like this video let me know in the comment section below and for more such amazing content please subscribe to apni kaksha till then stay home stay safe and keep loving us the way you do bye bye